This is how the warped rotor looks like. Notice the pits on the rotor. And the crack on the brake pad. These are the tools that you need for this project. Engage the parking brake. Jack up the car. Place tire chocks on the rear wheel. Support the car with a jack stand. Remove the wheel. Loosen the front disc brake cylinder assembly bolts. Loosen the front disc brake pad support plate bolts. Remove the disc brake cylinder assembly. Suspend the brake cylinder assembly to the strut spring with a sturdy wire. Make sure that the flexible brake hose is not kinked or twisted. Remove the disc brake pad support plate. Remove the rotor. If the rotor is stuck, use a metric bolt M8 by 1.25 to unstuck it. Completely compress the disc brake cylinder piston using a brake disc pad piston compressor or you can also use a C-clamp to do this. Monitor the level of the brake fluid while doing this to prevent it from overflowing. Remove the brake pad anti-squeal spring. Remove the brake pads.
Clean the caliper bracket. Remove the brake caliper guide pins and be careful not to tear the dust boot if you want to reuse it. Take note of the location where each of the caliper guide pin came from. One of them has a cylinder slide bush. This grease at the tip of the slide pin is the cause of the uneven brake pad wear on this vehicle. Note that one of the well of the brake pad bracket is shallower than the other one. Clean the caliper guide pins and the caliper bracket. Check the caliper slide pin bush for damage. Remove the old brake pad thickness indicator clip if you want to reuse it and transfer it to the new brake pads. Install the brake pad thickness indicator clip to the new brake pad. Check the caliper guide pin boot for any damage if you are going to reuse it.
Note that one of the well of the brake pad bracket is shallower than the other one. This is the place where the pin with the bush will be inserted. Apply a generous amount of brake grease to the body of the caliper guide pin and then remove the excess grease at the tip of the pin to prevent an uneven brake pad wear. Inspect the brake pin bush for damage and replace it as necessary. Install the new brake pads. We installed the brake pad anti squeal spring. Apply anti-seize compound on the hub. This is how the warp rotor looks like. Clean the rotor surfaces with a brake cleaner. Install a new rotor. Use a lug nut to temporarily hold the rotor in place. Install the disc brake pads with the friction surface of the pads facing the rotor and the pad wear indicators are placed superiorly and facing towards the rotor. Torque the disc brake pad support plate bolts to 107 newton meters or 79 foot pound.
Install the brake caliper. Make sure that the brake hose is not twisted or kinked. Torque both caliper bolts to 34 newton meters or 25 foot pound. If the caliper guide pin turns with the bolt, jam it with a screwdriver. Install the wheel. Torque the lug nuts to 103 newton meters or 76 foot pound. Release the parking brake. Pump on the brake pedal until it is hard to press. Check the brake fluid level and drain or fill accordingly. Remove the jack, jack stand and the wheel shocks. Brake in the new brake pads on the new rotors to allow the friction material on the new brake pad surfaces to wear and match the profile surfaces of the new rotor. Eventually the friction surface of the new brake pads will conform to the surfaces of the new rotors increasing the contact surface and maximizing the braking performance. Thank you for watching.